Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Miss Furley with the last demonstration. We're going to talk about resistance. And what I mean by resistance is um, the blood vessels being the, a tube. Your blood vessels are like a tube, right? And so the um, diameter of that tube, basically how big it is, is going to determine how the blood is flowing, right? So if I have a blood vessel like this, blood is going to flow much easier than if I have a smaller blood vessel, right? And the way we go from a nice big blood vessel to smaller blood vessels is if they get clogged up with like plaque and ugh, all kinds of stuff getting clogged up in there. And so it's going to cake up the walls of the blood vessel and it's going to um, basically decrease the diameter, increasing resistance. So I have, whoa, dropping them. I have two funnels. I don't know if you can see this. So there's one funnel and here is another funnel. And Obviously, this one's smaller. The opening is smaller. You can see that the smaller one fits into the bigger one, so it's definitely a smaller opening. It's not a huge difference, but it is what it is. It's what I have in the kitchen. It's what we're going to use. Okay, so I'm going to do a little demonstration here. I've got my funnel set up here. I had to use paper plates to hold them. And I'm going to pour, um, same amount of water, two cups of water through the funnels to see which one flows faster. I really hope I don't spill water everywhere. So here we go. Okay. I hope you could see that. This one, the smaller funnel, um, because the opening was smaller, the water, I know you couldn't see, but it actually backed up almost to the top. Um, and almost spilt over. So I got lucky it didn't get water everywhere. But this one flowed a little bit slower than the bigger funnel. It wasn't a massive difference because, again, my funnels aren't, like, a huge difference in size. But it definitely did flow slower. So diameter, the larger the diameter of the blood vessel, the more space there is for that blood to flow, it's going to flow quicker. And as you start to uh, decrease that diameter, it's going to slow down. Okay, so use that. I hope that helps you answer the next question. Bye.